you know, Lao Tzu said something that really there's a, it's a pretty broad statement. It sounds simple. But he said, do nothing that harms the body. And see, a lot of what you're talking about is kind of an overextension. That's we get ourselves in these positions where we feel like we are overextending ourselves into a world, right? First of all, it's a it's a virtue to be able to feel this compassion and love and care for people. But even that can become an extreme. And again, as I told you, Taoism is about moderation. And you have to love yourself as much as you do others. You know, when you read the stories about Taoists, you know, the ones that go up to the big hermitages and the high in the mountains, et cetera, et cetera, they're actually being antisocial. Taoism is based on being antisocial, to get away from the world, to get away from all of this. And, but at the same token, we, you know, Taoism also understands, just as Buddhism did, is that your cultivation of your spirit, and this is going to sound weird, but it's, I, I, this is absolutely true, that you affect nine generations before you and nine generations after through your good kind of efforts at cultivating yourself, which in some ways can be looked at as loving ourselves, that we do the world more good by cultivating ourselves than we do through pure and simple sacrifice. I mean, we look at people like Gandhi as doing great things, but yet he cultivated himself. You need to make time to be with yourself. Basically, take care of yourself, etc. That saying no is not meant to be harsh. In fact, you can tell people, and I've had to do it in my own life, I need to take care of myself. I will be glad to help you, but I need to do this for me. And it, it goes down to, and it's a statement I would like you to remember, because this meant a lot to me. When Xuan Hua, my Buddhist teacher, told me, he said, in life, you have to learn to turn conditions and not let conditions turn you. And that's something in your question when you first asked it kind of struck me, is that you're saying the difficulty in saying no. Well, that's because you're letting conditions turn you. There's nothing wrong with you saying, I need time for me to say no. That's not being undaoist. It's not being anything other than, how would I, very mindful, being very aware of your own spirit. And, you know, the other thing is you can't help everybody and you can't help them 24-7 because if you fall apart, they get no help whatsoever. So try and learn and again, this is it's so difficult to advise people on this kind of stuff. But learned, learned, just really kind of focus on that idea of you got to learn to turn conditions. People want you, you your service, et cetera, et cetera. But there has to be a cutoff point. And that cutoff point can be just simply stated, I need to take care of myself if I'm going to help you or others. I just need this time to do that. Then things change. You know, but when you when you're always never being able to say no, uh, people will burn you up and you'll burn yourself up from that. You know, it's just like sometimes teaching. I watched Master Leong say no to lots of people when they would come to him. He would say no, but come back. Not right now. You know, he, he took care of himself. That's why he lived to be 102 when he was supposed to die when he was 45. <laughs> so hopefully that helps you. 
again, I apologize for not having, you know, pristine answer for you, but this really relies on, on you turning conditions. 